Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we took on the boss of Tauros Cave, the Chimera, and we beat... yeah, we, we beat it. I don't know what, what else to say there. Uh, in this episode, before I actually go to bed, I was just testing something for curiosity's sake, because I know in some of them this works. And if you notice, we actually have some cooking experience there now. Literally, I just walked up put in material, I'm just gonna put in a medicinal herb, and it fails. But I get cooking experience for it. I don't think I even waste the material. I do not, because it's just not a recipe. So I'm gonna use up the last of my HP right here. Give me a second. One thirty six Can I try using a hammer? Okay, uses seven per thing. <laughs> Curiosity's sake, I'm about to level up. Let's try using my hammer to do it. <laughs> you can level up by trying to cook your hammer. This is amazing. And on today's episode of uh, Epic Chef Rune Factory Edition, <laughs> I try to cook an iron hammer over and over again. Wonder why it's not working out for me. Okay, final one. Alright, we have 3 HP left, and I'm currently sitting at almost level 3 cooking because of that. That is so stupid, I'm glad that works though. Let's go to bed. <sighs> that actually makes me really happy, it's so dumb. Alright, time to water our crops. Actually, today's the 10th, which means we should have strawberries today. If I did it correct, I did. Alright, let's head up to this crop up here, start watering these, because I know I planted these in like the 5th or something. No, I, I think I planted these in the 3rd, which means they're almost ready. Not much longer until I uh, no longer need the watering can for a while and I then plan on upgrading it. Dodge out of the way view. Interrupt. Oh. That's why I wasn't able to teleport out of the way. I wasn't using teleport. I wasn't using the escape spell. I was using the heal spell. Whoops. Alright, do I have anything left to do down here? I do not. So... Let's see. I'm missing exactly 25, which is perfect. I will be uh, picking these strawberries. Okay, now that the 10th has finally rolled around, I can start talking about how strawberries work. Strawberries are one of the favorite gifts out of everyone in the valley. Or, I say valley, I'm thinking of Stardew... No, I'm thinking of... Harvers what am I even thinking of? I'm thinking of all those things. Here in this town, people love strawberries. And, you know, personally, I love strawberries, so I, I completely understand it. So today I'll go around showing off some of the people who love strawberries and how much they love them. That is after I'm done watering all my crops in Tauros Cave. Skill up. Dang it, no drops. Nice amethyst. Or sapphire? Sapphire. Amethysts are purple. You know what? While I'm here, boom. Rune points of plenty. Really? There was a giant beast in Tauros Cave, too? Well, as long as they keep to the caves, they shouldn't pose any threats to our daily lives. It seems that Xavier's got the hots for Mist. My son can be so frustrating. If he likes a girl, why can't you just go tell her? Have you gotten used to living here, Raguna? Maybe it was Chimera. My country was destroyed by some suspicious monster. Do you like fishing? I think you should take it up as a hobby. Don't speak to me in such a familiar way. I made a new product. I'm proud of this one, I... Chimera was there. I thought Greater Damon lived in Comrade's Cave. Something is fishy, I... Maybe I'm worrying too much about it. 
Show me what you have. Okay. Ooh, wow. The two-hand sword. 12,800. This is a two-handed sword. It's, uh... I don't like it. I'm gonna be straight with you. It's not... It, it's, it can't keep a combo going. It's slow. It may be powerful, but it's slow and your defense is lowered, so it's just not fantastic. Uh, the reason we're even coming in here is actually just for the shield. Also to, you know, sell some stuff. So strawberries are worth 200. We will not be selling them, but just to note they are a good source of money. Okay. So this will give us six defense. And that means we can just sell this back to him. I heard you saved the wandering spirit of yet another monster. What? You found a huge monster in Taurus Cave too? I don't know why, but I feel really comfortable at Mr. Newman's house. They say that Chimera lives in Taurus Cave. I wonder what Chimera's eggs are like. Eggs? It can't lay like eggs, can it? To buy some. Raguna, I bet you used to be a swordsman or something. You have enough skill to be a Chimera. I heard you encountered a Chimera inside Taurus Cave. According to various sources, Chimera started appearing in this world less than 1,000 years ago. I wonder where they originated from. Originated from... Good morning. Um, some kind of magic book called Cure or something came in. You're safe. What a relief. Okay, let's go over Cure. Has the magic book been delivered? Seems the new magic books aren't in... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. There is Cure and Water Laser. Water Laser is the same one that Shindra slash Tundra uses. Yeah. It is, uh, I mean, I, I think the spell's good. Uh, I think that, once again, if you plan on using offensive magic, you have to put some points into intelligence, so either grind up to a high level or start getting those knowledge supplements, either through, you know, grinding them off those monsters slash making them. And then there's Cure. Cure is, once again, the skill that Shindra slash Tundra uses. It is, I believe, 250 HP heal. It is fantastic for healing. If you are willing to spend the rune points, if you have a rune factory, or another thing that I haven't even brought up to this point, you can actually eat certain kinds of flowers. Future Gabe will put them on screen here, yeah. and if you eat those flowers, then uh, yeah, you actually gain RP back for them. Yeah. So if you're looking for a way to get through a dungeon in one day without actually growing a... Uh, Rune Factory, that's how you do it. You just had to go do something dangerous again, didn't you? When will you ever learn? <laughs> What's this about you finding some kind of chimera? You'll get yourself killed! Oh, looks like you had quite an adventure in Taurus Cave, too. You should be kinder to your body. Yeah, I had quite an adventure. No thanks to your potions. Now, while we're here, Laura over here is actually one of the people who loves strawberries. So if you want to become, you know, a bachelor, or... No longer a bachelor, I guess. And you want Laura to be that lucky lady who ends up with you. Thanks. Give her some strawberries. Thank you, I like the strawberry. You explored all of Taurus Cave? I'm impressed, but please be careful, you might really get yourself killed. Rosetta over here is another lucky lady who loves strawberries. You see where this is going. Thank you, I love the strawberry, but how did you know I like them? Don't tell me you're interested in me. <laughs> Just kidding. But thanks for the gift. Word has it that giant monster used to inhabit that cave. I wonder if it's still there. I'm gonna say with fair certainty that it's not there anymore, considering I just killed it. That means that, well, uh, send it back to the first forest. You know, yeah, that thing. I forgot to do this before, but Tori is another girl who likes strawberries. Thank you. I like the strawberry. That's so nice of you. And if you come up here, Nicholas is actually a boy who likes strawberries. Well, thank you! Wow, I love the strawberry! Yippee! I love the ocean, but it's so big, eh? The bath is just about right, eh? Hey, you defeated Chimera, eh? Awesome! Good morning. So Chimera was here? Why would it want to come to this world? Making a lot of assumptions there. I hear you defeated Chimera, eh? Did you pick up any rare items? No, bosses in this game do not actually drop items. 
unfortunately. Hey, is it true there's a really big monster in Taurus Cave? I wish I could have seen it. What? You saved the Chimera? He might be the true hero of legend. So I can't seem to find Lucas anywhere, and I don't want to have to go look up the, uh, any kind of, like, schedule or anything to figure out where he went, so I'm just going to not today. We're not going to hear what Lucas thinks about the Chimera, and, you know, that's fine. I don't need to show every piece of dialogue everywhere. Oh. I heard a Chimera was in Tauros Cave. The Greater Daemon in Carmack Cave is a bit of a worry. I can't issue the pass for the next cave yet. Raguna, I want you to settle down and live in our town. This town has many things, including a hot spring and a library. You should go take a look. Womp. I like how he's just like, yeah, you're not allowed to go into the dungeon because I want you to live here? Just question mark, question mark, question mark? Alright. Let's chop down some stumps. I just want to spend the next couple hours doing this. That Chimera must also be happily living in its original world. Raguna, this is all thanks to you. Amazing! Skill up. Nice. Alright, just like we were asked to, we're gonna stop here. Hello. The geothermal heat at Clemens Mountain has made the subterranean water scalding hot. Hello. I'd like to talk. Oh, I was waiting for you. You're the town's new hero now that you've defeated the Chimera. Thank you. I love when people come here to take a bath. That'll be 10G. Enjoy your bath. So there isn't a lot to do here. So he also mentioned the library. Let's go check that out. And somehow he beat us here again. Raguna, did you find Cecilia? I'm afraid not. I can't find her anywhere. She's always going off to the caves. I keep telling her how dangerous it is. I have to go to the caves too. I'll tell the mayor about the situation and get a pass from him. Thanks. Hulk around outside. Yep. Uh, Cecilia has gone missing? Question uh, mark? Translation issues. Uh, he hasn't seen Cecilia in a while, and he wants me to go talk to the mayor to get a pass to a new cave to be able to search for her. And, like I said, by any means necessary. Is it true that Cecilia wandered off by herself again? Yes, it's true. Maybe she went to a cave? I worry about that girl. I often hear that she goes off by herself from place to place. Mr. Mayor, could you issue me a pass to try and find her? Let me see, that girl often said she wanted to go to Clemens Cave. Maybe she's gone there. Okay, Raguna, here's a pass for Clemens Cave. Go there and see what's going on. I will, Mr. Mayor. You received a pass to Clemens Cave. Alright. So, we're going to be looking for her for the rest of the day. Kind of. Probably. Yeah, let's go do that. I could make her wait. To be fair, you don't have to find her immediately. If you don't want to, you don't have to search for her now. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I am going to ship a strawberry. Boom. And for no real good reason, other than the fact that I want that in the shipping list. She's in here. Where could she have gone? Well, I mean, if I'm a betting man, and I am, it's a serious problem. Oh. If you climb up here, it's said that you can see as far as my homeland. It bugs me. Surely that can't be true. This is Clemens Cave. Actually, let's read the sign right outside. Clemens Cave. Unauthorized entry prohibited. Ma Godwin. Mayor of Cardia. Clemens Cave Climate. Eternal summer created by molten magma. That phrasing is terrible for me. So, before we do anything, let's head in. Look at this place. And not miss this time. Wow, this is really real, isn't it? You must have a passion for curiosity to come here. I would say the same thing about you, Melody. I came to see if I could find a good hot spring, but it's far too hot here. Customers would be boiled alive. <laughs> you ought to head back too, Raguna. Not yet. Cecilia's lost, and I heard that she wanted to explore this cave. Oh, well, she does love caves, but I don't see why she'd want to come to this kind of place. I'm gonna have a look around. See yourself, but I doubt she's here. I'll see you back in town. Melody doubts us, apparently. So, there are giants in these caves. They're a lot tankier and they hit really hard. There are also the better forms of ants here. But we're just strong enough to beat them anyway. Only two combos, which is nice. 
Alright, I believe this is an Ignis. Just a fire elemental, essentially. Ow. And sometimes he'll do that attack. Be very careful around him. You can get some very good stuff. I don't think I talked about it in the last cave, but one of the uh, things that Tundra slash Shindra can drop is the Ogwa element. It'll increase your... Here, I'll open this up to show it. You notice the elements there. There's fire, water, earth, and wind. The red number is your offensive, the blue number is your defensive, and I believe they're percentage-based, which means that should you increase that red number, you'll deal more damage with spells and weapons that have that affinity. Meanwhile, if you have the blue number increasing, then your defense against that. You'll take like 5% less if you increase it by 5 points. If you get 100 in that, you'll be, you know, completely immune to it, that kind of deal. Uh, fire elements will actually increase your, uh, I know, I think they're called flare or flame elements, something like that. Yeah. And they increase both your fire's attack and defense. Agua elements, or whatever it's called, will increase your water's attack and defense. It's really worth doing if you're having a hard time in a certain dungeon, or if you just want to be way overpowered with a certain kind of spell. Ah! I'm shut in. Another kind of giant. And... Yeah, they're very slow. It's literally that easy. Level up, even. Didn't even think to comment on that. And we've already found Cecilia. Oh, Raguna! <laughs> Cece, th so this is where you were. Are you hurt? No. I'm okay. Your dad and the whole town are worried about you. You can't come to places like this by yourself, you know? I'm sorry, I wanted to see what it was like in this cave. And then I saw all kinds of monsters. I was so scared I started to run, but then I couldn't find my way back. Don't worry, you don't have to be scared anymore. I'm really sorry. I'm glad that you're alright. Cece, so this is where you are. <laughs> Missed. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thank goodness. Miss, how did you know this is where she'd be? You might not know how to look at me. Wait, you might not know what to look at me, but I have a kind of sixth sense when it comes to stuff like this. Well, I'm impressed. Or maybe I just think I have a sixth sense. I don't know. Um, okay. But in any case, thank goodness we found Cece all safe and sound, huh? Yes, thanks goodness. Well, I'll take Cece home now, then. Oh, would you? Sure, leave it to me. Thanks. No problem. Okay, Cece, let's go back to town now. Okay. So while we're here, we're not gonna quite leave yet. I'm gonna grab some of the grass here. Now that this is finally a summer cave, we can start finding the last few kinds of grass. We can find purple, indigo... I think you can find blue in here as well, as well as green. We've already been able to find the other sorts, I believe. But, I mean, while we're here, we might as well, you know take advantage of while we're here. I don't even know how to put it. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna mine before we try to chop those down. Scrap. Silver, much better. Silver, once again, much better. A diamond. Once I'm done, you know, mining here, I'll go through all the items I collect. Another diamond, always nice. A ruby, another really good item. A fire element, fantastic gift for Sharon, as well as, you know, money making, crafting. I think there are other uses for it, but I don't remember. More fire element, so you can see where this is going. You start getting all the really good stuff in this cave and the next dungeon after this. I say that as I'm getting nothing but... Oh, and then diamond. Okay, never mind. Scratch what I'm saying. Okay, let's chop down these stumps and then head back to town. 
This has actually been a really productive day. We saved C, C from a monster. Chopped down a bunch of stumps. Got some really good items from the rocks in here. I'd say we're making good progress. Okay, we're gonna call that good. That way we're not wasting time here. Okay. Down here. We have a level 4 fire crystal, which is worth 640. We have two level 1s, which are worth 320 together. We have a level 1 ruby, worth 700. A level 7 fire crystal, that is worth... Uh, 1120, I believe? Future Gabe can confirm or deny. That is just some really good stuff, actually. So we're gonna, you know, start making a lot of money from here on out. This is why I wasn't worried about any kind of, you know, finance thing. Alright, so... Luckily, we still have those rune factory- What are you doing? It's night. I'm so happy that Cecilia is safe and sound. Forgetting that for a moment, you were awesome, Raguna. You're just like a hero of the old school. Oh, you think so? Well, not just yet, eh? <laughs> uh, we're starting to get used to her. And her silly, silly antics. Alright. Let's check out a rune factory up here. Grab all the runes and just, you know, get all healed up and ready to take on the dungeon a bit more. I'm actually curious. 64... It only costs six points to cast that, which means it's actually better if you only have one rune left to get, it's actually better to grab the rune, cast this a few times after wasting your HP. Um, I doubt I'll make use of those two tonight, but who knows? Okay, before we move on... I want to dump some of this stuff. Doesn't matter about this, let's dump this. A ruby as well. And a diamond. Just sell one of each of them, you know. Get them on our shipping list, be happy with it. Oh, come on, stop missing. Every time you pass through here, you're gonna have to deal with the door shutting on you, so... Get used to this, you know, scene. Just mash A as you're going through, beat this guy fairly quickly, it's all easy. Just don't miss or else he'll, you know, land you on your back. Skill up. We're cutting it close here. Escape. Run away now, just run away. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. Uh, we have 23, so I might as well. You know, somehow I can't cook my sword, and this is very upsetting, but I've become a better cook for trying. Alright guys, next time. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, it is now the 11th, aka Melody's birthday. So, today we have to present her with a gift. Sadly, Melody doesn't actually like things. If you're, if you're trying to woo Melody, take a bath every day. It is just the fastest way to make her like you. She doesn't care about presents. She does have liked and loved gifts. Her loved gift is actually the relaxed tea, which you have to make relaxed tea leaves and then use a pot to boil it. But, you know, we can't do either of those things, so it doesn't really matter. And if you want her to like you, just 
like, give her uh, wild grasses. Any color will work. But, I mean, if you want her to love you, just take a bath every day. It's the easiest way to do it. We have three friends. Melody, Godwin, and Sharon. But no one loves us, and that's sad. Eh, let's pick these strawberries. There we go. Used up the energy I needed to. Now let's head back home. Oh! The sweet potatoes are done! Sweet potatoes, a fantastic way to make money. They only take five days to grow, and if you put one of these into a, uh, into a seed maker, then you get more seeds from it, and you can level them up with Greenifier. They're pretty easy to do, and now we have a uh, good source of RP in this dungeon. Okay, so before we head back to town, because that's all the watering I have to do now, which is fantastic, I'm actually head gonna head to the deepest part of this dungeon and just, you know, chop down some of those logs. Me, 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 me. Our logging is already up to 14. That is fantastic. This is stupidly dangerous. Oh, hey Xavier. So Cece was in Clement's cave, was she? I can't believe she went to such a dangerous place. She's too young to understand why you need to pass into that cave. They should put up a rope at the entrance. Thanks, I like the medicinal herb. I'm so happy that Cece's safe and sound. Forget... Forgetting that for a moment, you were awesome, Raguna. You're just like a hero of the old school. Cecile was in Clemens' cave. It's a miracle she didn't get hurt. Thank you, I love the strawberry. Thank you. Thank you for the strawberry. You really know what I like. Awesome. He is another one that likes it. Come on in. He found Cecilia? That's good news. Thank you, I like the strawberry. I heard you found Cece. You're amazing, Raguna. Hello, Raguna. So Cecilia was in Clemens Cave. It's a good thing she didn't get hurt. Raguna, I don't know how I could possibly express my gratitude. Thank you. I'm so glad Cecilia's okay. What a relief. I'm so relieved that Cecilia's okay. Thank you, Raguna. I heard that Cecilia went inside the cave. Raguna, if you don't go and help her, she can't... She could be... What? But I s Eh, whatever. Oh, you felt Cecilia. Oh boy, what can I say to thank you, Raguna? On behalf of the town, let me express our gratitude. Thank you much indeed. By the way, what else was in Clemens' cave? Was there another large monster in there? I would not know yet. Well, I mean, I actually do know. There are a lot of giants. They're awful and terrifying. So, so Cecilia was in Clemens' cave. She really likes that area. Apparently everyone knows that this little girl had plans to go here, and no one tried to stop her. Hello. Thank you, Mr. Raguna. Cecilia's alright, thanks to you. I'm so pleased that Cecilia is safe. Hello. As I thought she was in Clemens' cave, I'm so happy she's okay, Hello. thanks to you, Mr. Raguna. Hello. You feel Cecilia, eh? <laughs> I'm impressed. I thought you were just a plain old nice guy, but you made me rethink things. Well, wow. we actually got a real compliment for her. That's actually cool. You saved Cece, right? Thank you, Raguna! And this is all he'll ever say ever again. Uh, no, but seriously, I don't know what actually triggers him saying other things, because even, like, I did this, like, towards, like, the 17th or something, right before an event happened, and even throughout the event he wouldn't talk to me about anything but Cece. Raguna, there's something a bit special about you. You have a kind of air about you, you know? Like a hero, you know? 
I heard that you lost your memory somehow. Maybe you'll get it back if you eat something good. You found Cecilia, did you? I'm happy she wasn't injured, but you really should scold her or she'll just run off again. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. I like the strawberry. That's so nice of you. Cecilia seemed fine. Good news, I... Starting tomorrow, I think I'm gonna start upgrading my watering can. Raguna, thank you for saving me. Now I want you to promise you'll never go wandering off to a dangerous place again. Okay, I promise. So Cecilia loves shiny rocks. Especially gems. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I love the ruby, Raguna. You give her a shiny stone, she will love you forever. She is adorable and pure and innocent and should never... How dare those giants try to bully her. Come in. So Cecilia was in Clemens' cave, eh? I'm glad she's okay. Let's make a bit more money off of her stuff and just start selling. Actually, uh, these are the level fives. So these are worth 800 apiece. So I'm going to sell these. I'm going to sell the diamonds because they're worth 980 apiece. And... I think that's everything for now. We start making good money off that stuff. So before anything else, let's go visit a girl we haven't actually visited in a few days. Hey Sharon! Hello. There's no way that Cecilia went into Clemens' cave. You got her out of there safely, Raguna. I knew you could. I didn't actually know she would talk about that. She doesn't normally care too much about what happens with the village, so it's kind of a hit or miss whether or not she'll talk about the events. Wow, I was looking for a fire crystal for so long. I'm so happy to get this. So now that we've started being able to get those, Sharon will start liking us immensely. That's pretty cool, actually. Actually, let's not go there yet. Let's keep getting lumber. It only actually costs one per swing now. Meanwhile, it costs how much per power swing? It only costs three. Skill up. I'm actually almost done with all the lumber in here. And never mind about that. You rescued Cecilia? Very impressive, Raguna. You're a handsome guy, there's nobody else in this town like you. I'm not sure how those things are connected, but thank you, I'll take the compliment. Or did you just- ooh, poor Camus. She doesn't find Camus to be handsome. Skill up. So I think for leveling it might just be best to sw just swing as much as you can. So, I do a charge attack for the first hit, and then just hit it ten more times after that with normal axe. It actually, I think, ends up saving me a little bit of RP, just taking like the ever so slightly more amount of time. But I think that's worth it in the end. Because I think it's based on how many times you hit it. I'm not exactly positive how it works in leveling up your skills. All I know is I'm getting them up very fast. And this is the final one in this entire cave. Or at least that I know of. So, we're out of here. Alright, let's head down to Carmite real quick, see if there are any runes left to grab there, and then teleport home and just use up our RP to get our cooking skill up a little bit. I need to get my cooking skill up fairly quickly because I actually want to do something pretty soon. Okay. There was... Ah. Well, that is such a waste of money. Whatever. Nope, no more here. Seven ninety four. Okay, so three per one.
You know, with every level up I get here, I get closer to being able to cook my hammer. So these are our current skills. We're actually doing pretty well for ourselves at this point. We're also sitting pretty on wood, too. We're sitting at almost 40% of the wood we need. Mind you, we're not even at 10% of the money, but, you know, we can spend a couple days just grinding that up. So guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. We'll be finishing up, uh... Nah, I won't promise that we'll finish up Clemens Cave, but... Based on my track record, we may finish up Clemens Cave next time, or at least just open up the access to the boss. So guys, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.